Several of those injured are at area hospitals tonight, including Illinois Masonic. And that's where Jenna Barnes continues our coverage now. Jenna. Yeah, Ray and Micah, this is one of several hospitals that treated nearly two dozen people after that crash. One of the passengers who was hospitalized has now filed a lawsuit against the CTA. Of the dozens injured in the Yellow Line crash, one is now a client of attorneys Joseph Murphy and Henry Simmons suing the CTA. Pretty traumatic for him. Um, he uh, is uh, quite... Um, emotional. The lawyers say 52 year old Cleon Hawkins was seated in the second car when the collision sent him flying into one of the metal poles on the train. They say he injured his shoulder and leg. Metal and our human body um, when there's force, uh, metal usually wins. The lawyers filed the first lawsuit hours after this crash, saying time is of the essence to figure out what went wrong. This isn't some random piece of equipment that was just on the tracks. This is another CTA vehicle. One hand should be talking to the other here. That's not what happened. The injured rushed to several different hospitals, including Illinois Masonic Medical Center in Lakeview. Anytime you have a uh, more of a, a high speed collision, uh, you're going to get uh, impact injuries, um, which is uh, something that would be expected in this instance. Uh, you definitely get lacerations, contusions, things of that nature, and sometimes obviously they can be more severe than that. Seven CTA employees and four children were among the 38 injured. Three people were seriously hurt, though the fire department said their injuries did not appear to be life threatening. 15 people refused treatment at the scene. Several things had to occur wrong, you know, for us to get put people in harm's way like this. DePaul University transportation professor Joe Schwederman says maintenance equipment like snow plows are usually moved at night. He describes what happened as a worst case scenario in a stretch known for poor visibility. Two car train, it's not like a long metro train. They can stop uh, a relatively quick. Something happened here to cause uh, the train unable to stop or just uh, missing the cue of the need to stop. The result, dozens of people triaged at the scene, many like Cleon Hawkins, hospitalized because of their injuries. They need to be held accountable. And that's what we're doing. And we have reached out to the CTA for a response to that lawsuit. So far, we have not heard back. We're live in Lakeview tonight. Jenna Barnes, WGN News.